Every Monday, we are looking out for you and your hard-earned cash with our new Money Matters segment. Here's Luke Bertzall. And tonight's topic, the red flags for retirement. Now, if you don't have a lovely pension waiting for you, well, then it's up to you to come up with a plan for retirement. 401ks are obviously a great option, but what are some of the big roadblocks that could keep you from enjoying your golden years? Financial advisor and the money master himself, Nick Royer, has your answer. So one red flag can be having no retirement income plan in place. So many people, they retire and they don't understand that retirement is going to be like 20 to 30 years of unemployment. And so you've got to plan on living to 90, 95, or 100 so that you don't run out of money during retirement. And another big point that Nick makes is be prepared for the potential of higher taxes due to COVID-19. That could affect your retirement as well. Trillions of dollars in, uh, in, in economic spending. What's going to be the uh, unraveling of that? Um, so we have all this COVID debt that's probably going to lead to a future of higher taxes just because we're trillions and trillions of dollars of just spending. So taxes will likely go up in the future. That's something you got to be careful of as well. Don't forget also another red flag is people don't have a health care plan. Uh, studies show that 70% of people are probably going to need long-term care at some point in time. And then you've got that other decision. How do I handle Medicare when it comes to retirement? So most people don't have a Medicare plan. They don't have a long-term care plan. And those are some more red flags. The second thing that people need is an investment plan to survive both good and sour markets. A retiree is probably going to live through four to five to six market crashes, and you got to be able to have money available for that. Uh, you know, that's in protected money, and then you know some money that can withstand both good and sour markets because it's going to happen. And then the last thing is when you walk out on life, well, what happens to your money? And you need to have a solid estate plan. So that's another red flag: is most people don't have a will, they don't have powers of attorney, they don't have beneficiaries that are updated, they might not even have a trust if they need one. And so these are documents that you got to have in place. So when it comes to investing, again, wrapping this all up, is you got to have a solid retirement income plan. you got to have a solid investment plan for those what ifs. you got to have a tax plan to, to not pay unnecessary taxes in retirement. you got to have a health care plan to ha handle long-term care, Medicare. And then you got to have an estate plan so that money passes on as easily as possible to the next generation or to whoever your beneficiaries are. Now, next week, we're going to be looking at the importance of creating your budget. For now, I'm Luke Birdsall, reminding you to always remember your money matters.